My dear friends, having just listened to the gospel account of the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John, we heard in the time that he hung on the cross, he said four things, the last of which I wish to reflect on for a moment. It said, it is finished. For a moment, I would like to just say that while that is a translation from the Latin, consummatum est, it does not catch what the Latin from the Vulgate of St. Jerome says. Consummatum est means that it has all come together. It is, it is consummated. It is finished in a very profound way. One could say it is finished, is very pedestrian. What Jesus did and what he was proclaiming was that his mission, his entire mission for which he was sent, has been brought together into one and the sacrifice has been offered. The work that Almighty God gave to his son to do that was reported in the first reading we heard here just a few moments ago, that it was for our infirmities that he bore, our sufferings that he endured. He was pierced for our offense and crushed for our sins. For the Lord laid upon his son the guilt of us all. In the second reading, we heard from the letter of the Hebrews that not only did he suffer and do all of that for us, but he was and is the source of eternal salvation for all who obey him. It is finished. Consummatum est. It has been brought to a full conclusion. Christ's sacrifice of forgiveness and reconciliation. The distance between God and humankind has been broached by the sacrifice on the cross. And it all comes to us as a gift. We have done nothing to merit it. Our ancestors of old did nothing to merit it. God has given it freely and gratuitously as a gift. So much does God love humankind. The gift comes from God, the Father, who has loved humankind so much that he sent his son to offer his life in reparation for my sins, for your sins, for the sins of all. The gift comes from the son who lived his life on earth as the son of God and the son of Mary truly God and truly man in loving obedience to the Father for our sakes, even accepting the terrible punishment of crucifixion. My friends today, as we participate in the celebration of the passion of our Lord, and we recall the constant and consistent message that we have heard from our church that urges each of us 
to follow Christ, Christ whose light enlightens the whole world, we cannot help but desire to embrace Jesus Christ today and forever.